Looks like 50 main event. Ready yeah, yeah. 250 main. Little fun. So, let's see here. Looks like 19 is getting a good start. Yeah, that is Logan Deepadi. Oh wow, we have a few more guys in front here. We have Matt Chromie already wow. up to the lead. Oh, there's the pile up. Connor Lenz. I was for it. There it is. Oh the yeah, you can see a lot of guys just piling. Oh, we have Malker on the blue and yellow bike here. Yeah, yard sale again. So Matt yeah, Chromie. Brendan Ewing is in the middle up. He's normally a contender for the victory, so he won't be happy at all. Yeah. So Chrome in the lead, followed by Colonel Linz and Victor Nykot. Three, three really fast riders on top, turning up to be a good race. Oh no, I picked Seabolt oh. for the win, he's in dead last. <laughs> It seems like no. whenever I'm supposed to spectate Seabolt or like he's in a race that I watch, he's always doing terrible. Sorry, Jeremy, I jinxed you. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, oh, Shagars, oh, these guys are just insane. I can't believe how they are. I mean, triple, triple. It's like I can make tripling ins, especially in the next triple in they'll come to, and. The triple crawl, like Matt one out of ten times. <laughs> okay, so Chromie crashed in the whoops, almost taking down Nykot. So 11 here behind him. That's Muller. Close by. Then we yeah, have Logan Deepadig. Yeah, Deepadig Nice scrub there from Janik Muller. Sort of setting off course, oh, oh, oh. almost going out of that bus. Was so close. <laughs> nice <laughs> save like from the there. Dutchman. <laughs> yeah. Or is German perhaps? Is he German? Yeah, German. Yeah, my bad. He's Deutsch. <laughs> Spätschen Sie Deutsch. So Connor Lynn's leading, and it's really fun to see him because I don't think he raised a single EMF event last year, at least not that I was streaming, so. Always nice to see new faces. Yeah, I don't even know where he comes from. Is he an American or? I think so. British, I think. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah, I'm pretty I, sure he's British. I mean, I've absolutely no idea. I assume new names are from Orf Racing. Uh, if he did RF, he should be good at Supercross, <laughs> at least. Yeah. He was really good at nationals. Yeah, it was, I saw something where he rode and was just sick. I mean, these guys are so fast. Matt Chromie, currently 4th, I guess. 3rd, oh yeah, actually. British. Jank Muller, 4th. Clement Lana, 5th. Ole Sandberg, 6th. So, nice to see Ole Sandberg up there. Logan Deepadi. Our old EMF champion. Up there, 2. Oh, going to the inside. The inside. Nice oh, pass. Very. And that's where you can see it's a pro, pro class. Oh, thanks, Lynch. So, yeah, it's British. <laughs> that was one of the cleanest passes I've seen. And that triple, yeah. triple in with 250, that's just s insane. Orlean Van Capel, Brock Papi, doing pretty good too. Jeremy Seabolt, currently 10th. That husk is just looking so smooth. I wish I had that husky on my hands. It would be so sick. Apparently Matt Chromie is working on a comeback. He's now in third. I think the pressure on... Oh, Nico crashed. Frank Hesman's 11th. Will Whitley 12th. Stefano Guido. 13th, Quentin De La Rue 14th, Malcolm Samuelson 15th, Dade Hanwell 16th, Edward Mora 17th, Ben Seberg, oh, he's crashed, Brendan Enink, so Enink being last, that was, what a surprise. Yeah, he got caught in the 
in a big pileup and he got a blast. Yeah, I mean, he's... Also, the rhythm after that, he got uh, taken out by oh. somebody rejoining the track. So yeah, thanks, Ricard. Is the server full? I don't think the server is full, but uh, the racing slots are reserved for qualified racers. And I think we have somebody racing with the leaders. Looks like 2 8 or something is relatively oh. close by. We actually have a huge battle for, for first. Yeah, Chrome is really closing into Connor. Yeah, Connor apparently made a mistake with a 113 lap time. Yeah. Lap. I mean, that's not a good. Uh, that's not a bad lap time. Like that, but it's, <laughs> it's not. It's average, but for these guys. <laughs> yeah, for these guys, that's just like slow. I heard Enin really likes these whoops. <laughs> I guess he does something. So Chrome is just really just just slower than my qualifying time on a 450 race conditions. Yeah, that's. Yeah, I was about to say it's impressive how these guys triple so into sections. Oh, so it looks like Malker in the whoops. got lapped. Oh, something. No idea. Barely misses the lapper. Oh, oh that was a takeout from <laughs> Nikot. Clean the lapper. So Nikot showing a little bit of attitude to, towards Ludwig Bottom as well. So Chromius actually lost a little bit of touch to Conor Lins. Victor Nykaard still solid in third. Janik Muller fourth, getting around Melker Simonson. Melker being respectful, standing to the inside. <laughs> Yard sale free parts uh, in the whip section. This yeah. is where it gets tough for Conor Lins, the leader. Into the lappers who are actually battling with each other, so. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Rip. Oh. And that's. Oh, no. I. Really hate that. It seems like I'm not sure how it's in the RF, uh, but yes, it seems like EMF flappers can be so f extremely bad at times. So let's go for the pack. This looks like Lynch wants to know where the Swedes are. Yeah, talking about the EMF RF difference, I posted a few days ago on the official 2016 Supercross forum topic as well. Yeah. That somehow Europeans turns into, uh, <laughs> you know what? Turn into Down syndrome. <laughs> yeah, whenever it's supercross. So yeah, I think that has something to do with it because I've raced a couple of nationals as well last year and never had any issues. Not even I could battle for three, four laps with the same guys. Uh, on EMF. An issue, but now and uh, yeah, on EMF and now in supercross it's always trouble. Yeah. <laughs> So let's go for the pack here. We have Matt Chrome in the lead, Victor Nykot second, Conor Lins third, uh, Janik Muller fourth, Clement Lana fifth, Logan Tippel sixth, Jeremy Seabold seventh, Brock Pap eighth, Ole Sandberg ninth. So I guess that's our fastest Swede. Lynch, uh, Frank Asmans eleventh, Dade Hannewell twelfth, Arlen van der Kapel thirteenth, oh. Alana Schulis fourteenth. So worked his p way back up a bit. Will Whitley got fourteenth, Alana's. Went back. Quentin De La Rue, Brennan Enink, Edward Mora, Stefano Guido, Malcolm Simonson. Back in 21st, so second to last. Kind of unlucky, and Ben Seberg being last, unfortunately. Yeah, and as you were going down the list, Connor Lins wanted to attack uh, Victor Nico for second. A lapper went to the right side of the whoops where Connor was making the move and barely took him out. But yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, checkers. The broadcast that was actually a new addition to this year. I spoke to Maxim Tyson earlier, and he had uh, showed me the script, and it's actually really good to have. I only have three lines because I think five lines takes up too much time, but that is a really nice Plus, addition with the blue flag. Though. Yeah, but I mean, I you have know, to be able sense. to foresee really that annoying. and that is actually the blue flag is actually a warning to watch a specific rider yeah. and if that that rider has two warnings and if he doesn't move as he has gotten two warnings he will actually be kicked so the blue flag is actually a warning that somebody has yeah. not moved for a leader oh Connor Lins taking out Nico oh 
not on purpose, but it just happened. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Connor making, jumping up to short too. Oh, Melker got disconnected, oh. black flag, so I guess Melker accidentally took someone out. So yeah, that that's what's happened, nothing you can do about it really. Oh, ow. And we're still going strong with over 52, with 52 ones. And Lince was really looking for a... Thanks for checking in. Take Street figures. Unity on Nico, but just didn't happen. Yeah. I feel like Linz is the fastest of these two, but he just can't find a way through on uh, Nico. I yeah. feel like he lost his flow a little bit after he crashed. Yeah, he really yeah. did. Maybe a little bit annoyed as well on when he was down, some lepers got into him. Awesome. Yeah. I mean, it's so distracting, especially personally, I'm, I really suck with that. If I've crashed once, that's just getting in my head. Um, it takes a few laps and then I'm fighting my groove, but before you find your groove, it's so traitorous. That's where people like Dennis really come into their own. Yeah. They can just snap back into it. Hi, Andrew. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, I'm really jealous of the super fast guys, but I don't know. It's so hard to, and it takes so much time to get good to. So I don't know. I really want to race the whole amateur season. I think I can make each qualifying. That should make too much trouble. Oh, Connolly's just barely making his way through there. That was insane. So Connor really found a flow. Oh, oh, oh for the lead. Except, except for whoops. Crashed in the whoops and now crashed, oh man, uh, Lepre was down. And Connor Lynn's crashed in the previous whoop section, so it's going to close up a bit here. Yeah, Nico is now in the lead with 10 seconds. Nice. And we have a ton of lappers on hand here, and I would expect to see Matt Crumb actually cleaning a few of them out if they're on the way. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, I raced amateur. Uh, we finished 12th, I think. So I, I was happy about that. First, Good points. really. First, really supercross race on EMF. I raced Las Vegas last year, but I was lapped oh. by the second to last guy by two laps. So I, w I oh, wouldn't say that counts. Crashed. The thing was, I actually tapped down the game in order to fix something on the stream and it started lagging so bad so I actually had a better frame rate on the stream than I had on the game that was awkward uh -huh. but something happened oh so you actually streamed while playing yeah I did that for I think it was Washugal 2015 too but I didn't then score any points so Victor Nykot is still in lead for Matt Cromie and Clement Lund actually upholding third place, going down. So Conor yeah, Lins is going Lins to take. Came up, uh, oh, the, rip! Uh, bridge on the start, and now he's Clement Lund is going to get hit by 28. So Man. that was too bad. He bolts up to fifth after being dead last. That's impressive. Fastest S lap is a 103.4. Seabolt, yeah, he's yeah. he's on fire. Battling Worth with now. Muller, I guess oh. it is. Oh, that was nice. Dude, Such yeah. a nice scrub whip. Muller now on the outside, going to the inside. Makes you think where he would have ended up if he didn't go down on the first lap. Yeah, I mean, he's super fast. He must have put in a ton of practice since he last season. He's the fastest season. lap in the race right now, and I think he's been consistently the fastest guy on the track. It's amazing. I really wish he would have gone down. So we have 58 people watching. I mean, I'm amazed. I'm really happy about that. So thanks, guys. Means a ton. Awesome. You guys are going to double his record. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be awesome. Uh, so cool. Milestones. And all the views afterwards going to be huge as well. All these guys racing. Yeah. They'll be watching afterwards. So let's... I will do as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, it was like... A ton of people in chat writing, we're here for Frederick. <laughs> a ton of right. Dutch people. Yeah. yeah. And then you didn't make the qualification. I think you upset the whole chat then. 
Yeah, yeah I think they I all just apologize like, headbutted their fan, computers. Fan page to, uh, <laughs> to my fans. I didn't make it. <laughs> yeah, so, oh, Nykot having a solid lead, 12 seconds. Chromie second, Conor Lins third, Jamie Seabolt fourth, Jannik Muller fifth, Clement Lana sixth, Logan Depot seventh, Dade Hannibal eighth, Ole Sandberg ninth, and Frank Hesmans tenth. So this is the last lap here. Or second to uh, last. One more. Yeah, one next more. Lap. yeah, exactly. Going to go out on the last lap in a minute. So Nykot going out on the last lap with a super, really good lead on Chromie for second. Connor Lynch is going to take third for the last lap. Seabolt fourth and Muller fifth. So we have some really good racing. It seems like Lapras Tons has been. Being black flagged. Who who was the last one to get black flagged? Uh, Ludwig Botten got black flagged. Yeah. And Brock Pappy got black flagged directly after. I mean, I think it's the right thing to do. If somebody yeah. pulls up someone, I mean, it's it's only fair. Don't do anything stupid. Yeah, I mean, and that was a problem with the 2015 season. It was really bad lappers, exactly all over the place. They just didn't care yeah. at all. So yeah, and also, 2015 season, even I could easily <laughs> made it into the main, which is out of practice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now it's just. Everyone's good, so they are less yeah, lappers. It's, it's insane in the first how place. close people are on this track. Yeah, it, I mean, it's really separating the good from the bad this track. So we have well, Victor, Victor Knight winning. Matt Crummy finishing up second, Connor Lins third, with only 1.2 seconds to go. So if. Uh, oh, Seabolt crashed in the second last turn. Oh man. Where's he going now? Top 5 after being 22nd. Very solid. Really good racing there. So we have... Conor Lins is only 1.2 seconds off of Chromie. So in case Chromie gets penalized, Lins will most likely get a position. So Clement Lana finish up 6th. Logan Deepa is 7th. Date Hannibal 8th. And uh, ninth is already in place, Ole Sandberg, Frank Kassemans finished 10th, Brennan Enink 11th, Will Whitley 12th, Edward Mora 13th, Lana Chalice 14th, Arlene Van der Kapel 15th, Isaac Wallin 16th, Bud Seberg 18th, Stephanie Guido 18th, oh, I don't know, Brock Papi, Ludwig Baden, Corante de la Rue, Marcus Simonson, all got black flag, I guess. So, still got the effort from the guys there. And it looks like Connor Lynch is going to get penalized. So he will maintain the third, third place. Hopefully, the penalties aren't changing anything. So, that's yeah. been a fair race from Very everyone. much. <laughs> so, Next up is going to be 450 main. Yep. So that's going to be really interesting to see there. I want to see Leclerc get back into action. How's it I going, Chris? It's going fine. Really happy with the stream. A lot of people turn out to watch too, so it's awesome. Really happy about that. So 450 main is going to come up here next up. Only yep. hopes for some great streaming. Yeah, there's one more race there, Mato. What do you think, as has it been like good racing? Do you have any points on the stream? Anything I could change, make better? I'm really open for any suggestions and opinions. Sorry to cut you off there. Uh, I'm ditching out now. Yeah. Luck with the rest of the stream. Good luck. 
So Nick is going to race. So good luck to Nick here. Oh yeah, yeah, good luck. <laughs> I'll be back in a few seconds. So I'm back. Four fifty warm up lap. Wish your pick for this main event. Yeah. So I'm who's in the lead? Go for uh, Fjallberg, I think. <laughs> yeah, I think Fjallberg. I don't know who's in here really. Leclerc for sure is going to be up top. Matty Moiser on. Yeah. Valtteri Tainan. Fjallberg. Go with the traffic because that has been a problem before for him. Yeah, exactly. He has some lines that nobody else takes, and when he's close to someone, he sometimes yeah, collides. Yeah, Jonathan Olson as well. He showed some great speed in the heats on LCQ. I only think he was in the heat and showed some great speed winning his heat, so going to be yeah, fun to he's see. Been a, he's been around for a long time as well. Yeah, he's been around for forever. Competitive too. <laughs> I remember when he came into racing, I think even before he joined Splitfire, just on a 250, one of his first races, he just absolutely yeah, spent already. Joined your channel. Yeah. Oh, hello. Hello there, Mr. Black hello. Flag. Yeah, <laughs> I just want to say sorry to everyone, because that was just a disgrace. Yeah, that was, yeah you, you got into someone by accident, right? Yeah. Because I, I got the blue flag when I got out on the start straight there, and then it passed me, and then I just went into the yeah to, to my lane again. Yeah. But when you yeah. run in first person, I didn't see that it was one more behind, and I'm just really really sorry. Yeah, I mean so, mistakes happen. Yeah, so I, I never mentioned to take someone. Frederick Nyland getting the whole shot here. Another fellow Swede, yeah. living in the same city as me actually. Pretty fun. Didn't know and that. We have huge pileups. On the star straight, there was a pile up, second turn, third turn. Yeah, so I think I you can see turn. here, it's ton of carnage all over the place. That turn oh, as well. I know, crashed. So yeah, but, but I want to say also to our official that it's really good that they have so much, uh, you can say, a look up that you can see. Yeah. Uh, because it was right to black like me there. Yeah, I, I mean, taken out. they. And we, I talked to Maxis, Maxim Tyson earlier in the race, and uh, they're going to be Much uh, black flag. Yeah, like black flag yeah. for small things too, because uh, 2015 it, was just terrible. Lepers killed yeah, and the it, leaders and all the time. And it was really good because I, I know I, I just tried to put on my line, but uh, it's it's the racing line, so and I was it, too slow to just go go to the side. So. Exactly. It's, it's the it's the right thing. So and we have Joran Vanderley in the lead. So nice to see Joran Vanderley racing some EMF races. I think he will join us for national. I would recall. We have uh, Jonathan Olson, another KTM rider, in the second. Leclerc crashed. Will get passed by a bunch of guys. Fjellberg included. Oh, Fjellberg goes down. Get together with yeah. Roller. He hit it to Roland. Oh, and Roland made another mistake and went down as well. Again. Oh, Valtteri Tainan went over the berm. Oh, Leclerc goes yeah, into Frederick. <laughs> that felt like Leclerc tried to push Frederick wide and get some physical contact. Not sure though. Oh, wow, Fjellberg coming on onto the screen backwards. Just classic Fjellberg. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, really good racing here. We have Jordan Vanley still in the lead in front of Jonathan also. So, nice to see these two guys keeping it clean and smooth oh. at the front. Valtteri Tana. jumped off the bridge. <laughs> oh. But uh, you, I yeah, actually crash, checked that, yeah. and you can jump straight to the side, and you won't miss the timing gate. So you actually don't have to land on the bridge, which is good. 
Yeah, that's good. It's it's sketchy though. <laughs> so so Val sketchy. Valkyrie Tana and a third. Looking really good. Alexis like Leclerc in fourth. Place now. And Andrew Santos in fifth. And I haven't seen Santos as I've said since last year. So really fun to see him back. Fjellberg. Oh, oh casing that jump. Oh, he just can't catch a break. So I want to see Leclerc here. And if we go on board here, you can see that he'll just lean the bike over and it turns so fast. I wonder what setup he has. <laughs> uh, I heard Callum I think talking about secret. it. <laughs> no, I, I don't know. No. I had some friend who got it. I'm not sure if that was the right one though. But I know Callum talked about it and he said it was extremely loose. So, okay. I don't know. But if you look at Lexus Leclerc, he'll just lean over and it leans so fast. Yeah. Yeah. I think that that's a really good thing to have because when you're going, you're going to do these big like uh, triples out of, okay, they run now 450s, but if you're going to do it out from a turn, you always want to keep uh, or strain the bike up before you go into the jump. Yeah, exactly. So it's a a big advantage to have a fast uh, advanced ability. Yeah, and we have Valtteri Tainan going down there in the last set of... tried to do a quad but came up a tad short. So Andrew Santos is going to get passed by a quadding Dennis Fjellberg. So Fjellberg now up to, I believe that's fifth place for him. Trying to catch up to Leclerc. Now some, oh, and now he has some clear track in front of him, so... Uh, I'm sure he'll appreciate that. Yeah, getting Lecler into his rhythm. Leclerc just keep doing quads here, it's insane. Well, I'm gonna have to go because I need to go get up at 5 a.m. and start working, so... See ya, fun that you can join. <laughs> yeah, it was fun while it last. Yeah, see ya next Sorry week. Like <laughs> <laughs> but what's they are so fast, it's just, it's ridiculous. Yeah, oh, Play Jonathan so Olsen hard. just getting so squirrely. Well, three time yeah. I'll just keep catching up to him. Yeah. I maybe we uh, stick to the track editing. <laughs> yeah, I think you should race, it's always good. Oh, I think Jonathan yeah, just took Valtteri yeah. down. Uh, that sucks. Yeah, also a leper. Was in between sandwich, he couldn't go <laughs> anyway. Yeah, I, th so. I think that was Maxim van der Beek. No, 151, uh, not sure. The Belgian. <laughs> yeah. So Leclerc going down along with crashing into 170 something. So Jordan van is still in the lead, almost making the whoops. I don't think Leclerc really retired ever. I just think he went into not racing mode. Yeah. Well, well, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Also, Have a great didn't day. he got a, a, a or a ban last year? Yeah. Not for the entire year, but just. Uh, I don't think he got banned. I I don't hear, hear that. I've heard he's joining the military from someone. Um, I mean, I don't know. You gotta ask him, I guess. So Leclerc. So he's so becoming a man. <laughs> yeah, Leclerc solid second place. Jonathan Olsen third. Uh, let's see here, Valtteri Tainan 4th, then it's Fjellberg 5th, so let's go on board with Fjellberg here and see some magic happen. He's very close to TA, so... Yeah. Uh, Lynch, I have absolutely no idea. I think Leclerc is around 20. I don't know. So Fjellberg doing the quad there, and you really gotta yeah. watch out when you're doing big lines and have someone in front of you that you don't jump into the back of them. Yeah, <laughs> just a little case is enough to, to jump on a Z. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Twitch chat. Oh, lots oh. of guys down in the whoops. I think there was Jonathan Olson standing in there. Oh, yeah. Was. Oh, and now somebody runs in the back of him. 
Man, Fjellborg is so fast. For Leclerc going to the outside of oh, He's uh, already catched up to Leclerc, that's going to be so interesting. It seems like these guys are pretty much equally fast and equally skilled with two super different riding styles and setups. Eat. So oh, Leclerc. Le yeah, that wow. was that, that was, was what I talked about. Leclerc always pretty much being rough, it seems. Exactly. Sort but of like Porsche. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, Fjellberg having so much trouble with that section. He jumped too much to the right last time around too. Yeah. That is Jordan Van Rey. And wow. even crashed, so we have a new leader. Wow, well, everybody's going yeah, down. down in the whoops. So Leclerc now, the new leader, all going down, taking wow, Fjellberg. This is so chaotic with all the lepers as well. It seems like Fjellberg, uh, Le Leclerc never goes down. Uh, when I'm going pro, uh, probably never. I would hope to do that someday, <laughs> but I don't know. Well, Anaheim 1 is always the toughest race, so if you want to become pro, do it in Las Vegas. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I I wish I could do like the classical one season amateur, win a championship, and then move up to pro. But I'm not convinced I'll ever really win a championship. Yeah. So we'll have to see. I don't know. We'll see how long they let me be amateur as well. I'll if it continues like this, I'll probably be moved up to pro next year. Lynch, may I ask who you are? If I know you really, I'm so bad with Twitch names and other names. It's like I'm pretty much the worst guy in the world when it comes to oh, look at the pile up here and all the lappers. I see Frederick Newland, I see Maxim Vanderbeek, a ton of guys. So Leclerc going around uh, Frederick Newland, I guess. Uh, there's a huge pack of oh. lepers, and the other half of the track is just totally empty. Leclerc make a mistake. Oh, Valtteri Tainan actually got yeah. up to the lead. That was nice. Vanderly is down. So. Battle for first, the Union against uh, oh. Leclerc. Oh, oh Leclerc, Leclerc punted him. Yeah, I mean, it's one thing with dirty rides, and I actually don't mind it too much, but I just looks like Leclerc wants to take everybody out. Sort of sucks. Yeah, that was a straight T-bone. And I really wonder how he... Oh, what? That was a weird crash as well. Oh, what? I didn't see him crashing, so... Looks like yeah, Ashley Fjellberg got the lead now, followed by Tainan. Vandley still yeah, like, fourth. Leclerc tried to scrub, I think, but his front wheel uh, got some traction and it's just, he nearly backflipped it. And I thought he would save it, but apparently he was just way too much backwards. Oh, going the wrong way. So Fjellberg still up to the lead. Really cool there. Followed by Valtteri Tainan in second. Joram Vanley third. And Alexis Leclerc fourth. So Leclerc oh, dropped like a rock. Crashed. He cased the quads. A nice yeah, bit of karma for Leclerc. <laughs> 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 yeah, I guess you can see it that way. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, oh, okay. I guess it was you. I mean, I have such a hard time. I mean, that's one thing that kills me, is like, people use the forum names, and then they use another race name, like Tiscorn is Tyler Crane. That took me probably five years to figure out. I'm just a mess. So Jordan Vanley up to second, actually. Yeah, and then uh, Gelberg is checking out. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, if sim is worth the money, and I can tell you that if you're willing to put a few hours into learning sim, quite a lot of hours, it's really worth it. It is absolutely the best motocross game out there, but uh, 
you have to practice at home to get good. I mean, you probably have to do 50 yeah. hours before you can even think of getting a clean lap, so... If you're willing to just practice, it's totally worth it. Yeah, but got taken out by a lapper. Oh man, that sucks. And yeah. uh, Van Lee just went down to... Oh, and T.A. in case triple. But he's down as well, Van Lee back into seconds. Wow. Quite interesting. Uh, oh, Leclerc is down. I guess that's with a lapper. Somebody jumping into the back of the Leclerc. So I guess Leclerc is really sad right now. Jonathan also seemed to have crashed in a battle with Valtteri Tainan for third. Uh, Jack, I'm not sure you really want to have to rage. That's just. Everyone does that. <laughs> Depends how you tackle the game. I mean, I could have raged very badly <laughs> for yeah. most of my main event spot, but yeah, it's just it's just a game. So exactly. If you had a good race, if you had fun, it, it's worth it. Yeah, exactly. So Lynch, your name is Linus too. Really? It's like Linus. It should be Linus Simulator or something. It's like everyone's called Linus. Uh, no, there's not. There's really no discount codes or something for the game. It is 42 bucks, and what you will get with the 42 bucks is like, f I'm not joking, probably around 1,000 user created tracks, a lot of models, skins, and uh, yeah. they, they release updates to the game every now and then too, so you will get updates yeah, as they come out. Nice. It's totally worth its money, I mean, I bought it when the dollar was very low in 2008. Yeah. And so it was around 30 euro for me. Really? Because I think I paid now, 52 yeah. euros for my copy. With taxes yeah, and everything. Yeah, in 2008, crisis was first in America, then in, in Europe, so... <laughs> yeah, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, the dollar was very, very low. And it's totally worth its money because I haven't... Yeah. I haven't paid any more since. No, exactly. Because every update is free, and every skin is free, every model is free. Actually, not every model every because track is free. people will start paying for or taking pay, uh, shorting for stuff. So that sort of sucks. But I mean, yeah, if it's their choice, but there are enough models, so I yeah, just I mean, don't download them. <laughs> you have models, tracks, and stuff from 2007. And I mean, some tracks from 2008 are still really good today. Indeed. So it looks like Lagangar is mad for being black flagged. Yeah, and Leclerc uh, took second away from um, Olsen, who's now in eighth. Wow. One month really to do a clean lap. That's that's good, Lynch. Uh. How often are updates? I mean, some updates, sometimes you get two updates in a month, sometimes you won't get one for a year, that's... Because some updates are just minor things that makes the game better, other, one, other ones are just really big. As of now, JLB is replacing the current stock models with new ones, and that's taking up a lot of time to make, so... But for the past year we've got on like five updates perhaps yeah Something like that uh. so let's see here oh wrong way but right now the game is, is actually quite good I yeah I mean we have a working multiplayer we have everything's working really good so yeah I mean, I mean I think this is probably the only game on the planet that has no bugs, it's just no bugs at all. Yeah, I Sometimes mean, times because of the physics, it gets a little bit awkward. But there are actually it's not a bug. It's just it's actually a few bugs. Like if you collide with someone, you can get launched out of the arena. But that's just lag mixed with bad luck, sort of. It's not really a bug. So ah, this yeah. game is really solid. It's damn hard to learn about. Yeah, when will Applied. the game expire? Uh, as of now, it's been under development for 
since November 2007 as it first launched on the forum so I, I don't think it's really ever going to expire. Uh, well, the, I think the new stock models are for marketing sort of, like a lot of people get the first impression from the demo and it looks like crap. So they just skip on the game instead of this looks good and start playing. Yeah, if, if uh, um, JLV wants to have it in the in the actual game, he needs to pay licenses and everything for that. Yeah. Um, and even getting in touch with the factories to, to even ask if you can pay for that, it's, uh, it's a big trouble. Yeah, exactly, and uh, Jack, there is actually way more people using the stock mo regular stock models than you think. Everyone with a crappy laptop pretty much uses them because they are so lightweight. There's not there a lot of like polygons. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, I have I have my own skin, my own models and everything, but all my opponents are just stock models. Yeah, I mean, I have a graphic cards for seven hundred fifty dollars. So, yeah. Yeah, that's the only negative about the game. It's it's very tough for a video card. Yeah, it's really tough. It's because of the high poly models. And you're right, Modo. People still play Halo 1. So, back to the race. Fjellberg in the lead. Leclerc actually closing up on second, only 5 seconds behind. Jordan yeah, Fjellberg Bandley. had a couple of uh, doubles I'm with lappers. Yeah, the lappers were terrible. Out, but, uh, Vandley casing that, smashing into the face of Vandley actually. Third, Benut Kravich fourth, Kevin Lilong fifth, Valtteri Tainan sixth, Mate Maseron seventh. I think. Wrong side of the berm, that sucks. Jonathan Olson got lapped by Fjellberg. Uh, we got a good lap for fourth now between uh, Benoit Krawicz and uh, Kevin Olson. Yeah, exactly. Long is going to make a move on the whoops. Yeah, I think so. And the whoops, you have like two moves either you go safe and slow, oh. or you're going fast and crash. And die. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much that. Yeah. And that's where where you can see it's a closed field. I mean, he's losing two positions right there. Uh, Bill, did I take you out in the AMS? Uh, I have no idea. I'm really sorry if I did that. So Fjellberg soon to go out on the last lap. Leclerc a few seconds behind. Joran Vanley quite far off. About half a minute. Valtteri Tainan up to fourth. Kamali Long fifth. And Binit Kravich now down to sixth. And Fjellberg into the white flag with five seconds lead. Oh, he can't make any mistake because it's roughly eight to nine seconds that you lose it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so let's go on board with Leclerc here and see. As he said, Fjellberg can't make any mistakes. Oh, Leclerc There's almost the going to a rider. Yeah, pushing very hard. Leclerc is actually making up a ton pretty much every time in gate. That's really good. Oh, oh Leclerc went full power over the whoops. Nice there. Oh, sketchy. And yeah, he crashed. Oh. So let's see here. Philberg is going to take the win. Yeah, and Van der Lee is 30 seconds behind, so Leclerc takes seconds normally. Nice. Great racing, Philberg. One or two flat, exactly flat actually. Cool time. Yes. Declare. Oh, oh bounced over again. the berm. Yeah. That sucks. Yeah, but no problem, she still has uh, 35 seconds in front of Fenderly. Yeah. The only thing that can suck is penalty in that situation. 
So Vanley with a solid third place, squaring up the berm. Triple, quad, triple, that's such a sick line. They actually lapped up to uh, 8, Jonathan Olsen. I mean, these guys are nuts. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm really sorry, Billy. Um, I tried to do my best not to clean people out, but it's so many guys in the way. So I'm really sorry for that. Didn't mean to. <laughs> what is Verli doing on Leclerc? That was the worst race of my life. Really? <laughs> yeah, I got to a terrible start and then just could not get going. So I'm just going to I'm just going to go through the list here. Fjellberg taking the first, Leclerc second, uh Jura Vanley third, Kevin Lilong fourth, and Binu Kravich fifth, Valtritana sixth, Made on eighth, uh and there's the restart. So Thanks guys for tuning in. It's been awesome to have you guys here. If you have any any suggestions at all on the stream, I would love to hear them because this is the first stream of 2016. I know that 2015 was very mixed uh, about what people thought. So, anything you want to say, Frederick or uh, Nick? Oh, no, not really. 